And can you also start the live transcript? Thanks. It's all. Right. Well, welcome. Uh, since we have last seen you, he has slept, I hope. <laughs> Me too. No, I'm just kidding. I, <laughs> I slept all day too. <laughs> so, I'm, so, the, I'm still in the hotel. Okay. Okay. Well, you're out, you're out of the meeting room at least. You're no longer you're no longer there. The background is different. <laughs> the background is different. That's correct. Yeah. So it's good to see you again, um, Vinod. Thanks for joining us. Um, I did want to just real quickly. I wanted to tell Yahui one thing. We're going to be so we're moving forward with um, you know the To Do Group Associates program. Uh huh. And I think you're on. Aren't you on the To Do Group um, board? Uh. Uh, I'm I'm represent Huawei in the to do group. Okay, and, so you're uh, a participant. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm not usually uh, attend to do group uh, okay. meeting. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I guess I just wanted to tell you that we're gonna there's a working group in the Chaos Project called the Value Working Group, and we're gonna be changing the name of that working group to the OSPO Working Group. And so we're going to be specifically taking a look at, at the development of metrics and likely metric models that are highly relevant to OSPOs as well. So there's probably going to be some overlap, I think, between that group and this metrics model working group. Um, so I just want to let you know because you I don't you weren't on that meeting, mm -hmm. uh, the community call. And then Vinod, I do think we're going to have to for the value working group. I think we're going to have to take a look at the time that it meets. Because right now it meets at, I want to say, 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Um, yeah, it's 10 o'clock every other Thursday. Mm -hmm. And so I think we might want to be a lit, tiny bit more West Coast friendly okay. for, that, for that meeting, US West Coast friendly. So just, we might want to think like noon. Hey, all then. We might want to okay. think noon or something like that, US Central. Okay. Okay. Uh, because uh, on those days we have a risk meeting too around, which is around one. That and we could move the day too. It doesn't have to be on Thursday. I mean, that's not okay. You know, okay. Just, yeah. just think about it. The risk okay. meeting wouldn't interfere with anything. I don't think. I think it's the the meeting. The ten o'clock time just isn't suitable for global participation. But yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that up because I do think there's probably going to be some overlap between that group and what's happening here. Um, all right, so I do want to say welcome back. It's been a little while since we've had uh, this metrics model meeting. We had, were at ChaosCon last time, which was a, a great success. Uh, you can find the presentations there. Um, there are some nice pictures on the ChaosCon uh, Slack channel as well. So it was great. Um, again, I just always kind of like to say thank you to Elizabeth for waking up at 4 a.m. your time <laughs> to participate in Chaos Con. Um, and that's it. So, you know, I, I think um, it was just really a great success. I, it was basically sold out as far as I could tell. Um, and we were, had really great participation. I will say this. I really like the short version of it, kind of the small version of Chaos Con, just the half day. I think it creates for... Nobody gets tired <laughs> by the by the end of it. Everybody still has a lot of energy, so it's nice. All right, um, so I thought we could take a look at um, a few of the, the PRs. There was one that was just merged. This is for the metrics models PRs. There was one that was just merged. Um, I, I am, I've been waiting, I guess, since last time for a review on this PR. Um, I'm just trying to add the keywords to this. So if somebody could take a look at that and give it the old. I can do go. that. Yeah, that shouldn't take too long. Thank you. And then, oh, it's look at that. Uh, June just joined. And June, there's a welcome. And we have something for you to do. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> you show, you show oh, up. And you. <laughs> so you have this. Oh safety it's for the safety definition metric model and if you go down there are just a few comments that yahoo had made 
on this okay. model. So if you could go ahead and either address that or resolve them in some some way, um, that okay. would be great because then we can kind of start moving that one forward as well. Okay, I will resolve it. Yeah, okay, thanks, June. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. I hate when, hold on, I gotta... Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. And June will put the minutes in here for you as well. I hate how, do you ever have like things that just kind of pop up on your screen? Let's so say like you're trying to close a tab and then like the, the zoom bar shows up and you can't, you know what I'm talking about? Like it's hidden for a little while and then <laughs> anyway. It happens to me all the time. All the time. It's a very strange problem. So, all right. Same. Anyway. Oh, same. same. Okay. <laughs> so it's a recurring problem for everyone. Um, so, okay. Um, so I'd like to just kind of take a look at um, some of the current metrics models we have. So I, I, I'm always trying to kind of keep the work that we have here aligned with, you know, what, what we're doing here. All right. Um, so um, project engagement was one that has been recently merged. This was also work that uh, June had done. So I went ahead and I merged this. I do think there's a little bit of work that I want to do just taking a look at this. So you know how, for example, we oftentimes want to have a link to the actual metric in the metrics and the metric model. So I think there are just some small cleanup issues that I would like to do on this one as well. Um, so I, I'll go ahead and take that on as an action item and I'll issue a PR against that. In June, I'll go ahead and and um, just tag you for a review if that's okay, because you were really a, a key developer on this model. Okay. Hey, um, Matt, I have a quick question. Yeah. I, I don't know if you know the answer to this or not, but in the new, um, website and the new knowledge base uh -huh. we'll have a page uh -huh. for each metrics model right well i that look at that i have a whole thing on that oh goody okay <laughs> i will wait and i'll save my question because it might get answered yeah because i think it's i think the website is coming close to being done and it would be nice to start seeing kind of how this ties with context tags and keyword That's, tags yes. yep that was my exact question so yeah yes. i think this visual will help a lot Awesome. Um, okay. All right. Here, here we come to the community welcomingness. So this is one that has been outstanding for a while. And Sean and Elizabeth, you had an action item to clean up I this I repository. Have... I think this action. Well, I think item... the, the cleanup yeah. was. It wasn't cleanup so much as it was converting it to a new structure, right? Yeah. So, I mean, basically yeah. we have, yeah, it's creating models. the JSON data files. Um, well, yeah. it's, it's following, for example, like this type of the definition yep. and, and then some sort of implementations model. Yep. Yeah. And so yep. I just uh, have to, I have to do that. It's on my list. I didn't, I haven't had a developer started, but they haven't finished it. So I'll have to jump. Yeah. Cause this John, is if I can help with that, I will just let me know. Okay. Okay. This, Thank this you. is the only one that's kind of lingering in a stranger form than the others at the moment. So um, I did want to point out that um, I, I went ahead and I took a look at the definition. This is for community welcomingness. And I was trying to, we didn't really have a, a definition markdown page for it. What we do have for it is um, like these Jupyter notebooks. Yeah, this so this one you probably recall came about before we landed on a structure, and so the definitional structure is yeah somewhat embedded in this notebook. Probably yes. needs to be pulled out, and then yeah, that well, would be the thing that we're gonna pull well, out. Well, lo and behold, it's pulled mm -hmm. out right here. Nice. So, yes. That's so that's probably I what it started from. Um, I just made or, this. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> so, so. Um, one of the things that I thought we could do is if, if you could just, if, if all of you could just click real quickly on this definition link and head over to this. So this is, again, about community welcomingness. And if you could just maybe add a few 
user stories or, or even just one or two that kind of come to mind? You know, as a newcomer, I'm curious as to whether I'll be welcome in a new community or not. Um, as a member from an organization interested in an open source project, I'd like to know if my employees will be able to contribute to a project on my We're all trying, we're all trying to click on yeah. definition. Is it not clickable? It is to, clickable. You have to right click on it sometimes and say open link. So yeah, just add a few, that would be really great as to why we care about community welcoming this. Maybe another minute here. Great, I like these, thank you very much. These are great. Um, feel like adding anything else, please do. Um, Sean and Elizabeth, I thought as we are, this is a pretty pretty big list of metrics that we have for welcoming this, which is okay. Yeah. It exceeds what we set as the yeah, standard I, afterwards. So we might think of dividing this into two models. Yeah, so as you're kind of working through this and taking a look at what you can actually do, even just with Augur from a deployment perspective, there may be a few things in here like that. I hate to throw out a DEI related metric, but that are not immediately measurable from something like Augur. Yeah, you know there's, what I mean? there's still 10 metrics that are immediately measurable. So they may think, you know. Okay, so just as you're moving through it, just try to think about if there's any that could be removed just from a, let's get this um, to a, a, a state that um, we can actually use Augur or Grimoire Lab to produce the results, at least to start. That seems to be kind of the pattern we have for some of our models. Do you have a comment, Elizabeth? Uh, a more of a question, do we yeah. ever put in these metric models um, uh, other metrics that like for, for further consideration or something like that, just a reference that, yeah, we realize this isn't the full complete list. Here are yeah. some others you might consider yeah. or not. Nah. We've never done that, or at okay. least we've done it to date. So it's almost, I feel like we should almost like, you know how we have in the metrics, like a disclaimer. It's like, yeah. That just like kind are, of makes it clear that this is not the complete, like you yeah, could this, include this is, this is the new view off zero, so to speak. Yeah. This is as you want to start understanding welcoming this. Here are some great places to start, and here's yeah. a model that you can deploy. So maybe that would be a better approach, at least to start something along the lines of a disclaimer that you may have other things. Okay. And that's completely fine. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. It's secure, uh, as I stare at the metrics there, I think that ones toward the top are going to fit nicely in community welcoming this. And I think this is one, some of the ones towards the bottom are more about risk okay. management from an organization perspective. So first cut, top of my head. Well, if, if you could, um, even just in this document, like mark what you think should stay and shouldn't stay, that would be very helpful. Okay. Something like something like that. You know what I mean? Just pretty simple. Okay. Yeah, that's my first rough cut at what's what there. Say that again, Sean. That's my first rough cut at what to do there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that sounds sounds good. So then you need to also then 
like as you're doing the rework. Modify the notebook, modify yep. the data, probably exactly. break it out into a separate proposal for the corporate yep. well, actually. And then a lot of that, that's my dog, if you heard that, a lot of that then would come like Sean and Elizabeth, it would come down into here, right? So it wouldn't be necessarily held in a Jupyter notebook. It would be more embedded in in this to kind of yep. illustrate. We, what I think we like. follow the pattern that we've landed on, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. What it would look like, and and kind of maybe you or you and Elizabeth, Sean, just to like tell like a bit of a narrative as to what what this tells us. You know, when you look at this, why does the particular graph that you're showing us around like these things have any, why does that indicate welcoming this in any way, shape or form? You know what I mean? So what, how do you interpret that as a welcoming this model? So, okay. Okay, so, um, okay, okay, AI, let's see, I will. Um, big touch, big touch. <laughs> Are you trying to increase the likelihood that we? Oh, do I didn't even know I. I didn't even know I did that. Uh, oh, leave I'm it. It's elegant. I love it. I'll, I'll try to fix it. <laughs> 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 Apparently not. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you. Um, let's see. We had a couple community service and support. Um, this was one also, Sean, that you had recommended that you were going to take a look at. Yuhui had been kind of working through this. Um, and you were going to give it just kind of, I think, an overview. That's what I picked up from the last meeting. Yeah, I feel like I gave it an overview, but it's good. But we can get it again here. Some of the comments are pretty old. If you want, I can go in and just tidy it up and prepare. Yeah, it that would be immediately. that would be yes, All right. that would be super mm -hmm. helpful. Thank you. Um, and then part of this too was you remember on a couple of the different metrics, there were things like this build time. I think uh, downloads was one of them. These were metrics yeah. we don't have. Things that uh, yeah, they're metrics we don't have, and they're also metrics. Some of them are metrics that are hard to get. So I'll take a take a stab at identifying what okay. our possibilities are. Well, I did it just kind of stemming from this metric model. I did go through and just down here, this is a list of every kind of advanced metric model that we have with metrics that don't exist, as far as I understand. So I tried to do just kind of a cross reference on the models again that were pretty far along. I didn't go back into the metric models that you know need a ton of work. Um, and then I went through each of the repositories or the working groups to try to see. And I've posted issues in the evolution working group to take a look at these to help build okay. these out. And Armstrong has responded that he'll take a look at those. So Armstrong is the lead of the evolution working group. And so Paul he'll- Armstrong. Yeah, so he's like, yep, we will definitely do that. And like we said, a few of these are pretty easy. So it might be useful. Um, Elizabeth, do you go to evolution, that working group? I do. Okay. Um, and I'm you... still usually there, but I missed the last okay. one because I was traveling. Okay, If because it might be helpful if we could just kind of and I, I can help too, like just quick template out some of these, you know what I mean? Like sometimes it's just getting them into a Google doc that has the template with the, like sometimes that's the, the first step that we need to do just so people, we can spend a little bit of time in the meeting, just like working on them. Um, so I'm hoping we can just kind of template these out pretty quickly. Um, and this is, this is linked Matt off of the notes for the this is here, oh, yeah. This is so, in the notes for this meeting, okay. Yeah, so there's an issue here and I just went ahead and added each of, each of these. And then I did the same obviously for common and the DEI ones, they're actually not from metrics models, they're actually related to the badging program, but 
their slightly uh, the project badging program, which I guess will be a, end up being a metrics model themselves. But these are currently in process. Okay, so that's that. Um, By the way, uh, for yeah. for the DER that that uh, that badging that badging uh, yeah. uh, metrics model I mentioned in the chan uh, in the Slack channel uh, in in DER badging to. Uh, do we have any um, REST APIs to allow us to fetch in those data? To uh, say which community have been got, got this badge? We don't and, yet, but I think okay. Enoch, I, I do think Enoch, correct me if I'm wrong, Elizabeth, but we did talk about this with Enoch because you had brought it up, Yahui. Just yeah, providing, I think, yeah, providing okay. that information via an API. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did Enoch respond to you, Yuhui, in Slack? I think, uh, okay. I checked the Slack. He said we may discuss it in the- in The next in, badge meeting? In the next, uh, in the in the next DI meeting, uh, maybe? Okay. I can, I'll put it on the agenda for tomorrow, but I think it's a good idea. I just, I think Enoch has been trying to wrap up a few, a few things with respect to badging that it wasn't immediately on his roadmap. But I, I honestly think it's a really nice idea that we could yep. query the basically the big table that we have just to ask for that data. It's public data anyway, and we may as well make it available via an API. And I think, honestly, I'm not speaking on behalf of Enoch, but I think that it's kind of like right up his alley. I think he likes do, doing that kind of stuff. So <laughs> I think that'd be sure. cool. Yep. Yeah, there's, there's already a structure to the badging process, so converting that to a JSON file and reserving it in the API would not be technically difficult. Right on. Um, while I'm, Elizabeth, can you hop over to the DEI minutes and put that in there really fast? Sure. You know what I mean? Just so I don't forget it for tomorrow. Um, okay, great. Thank you. Um, let's move on to. Code quality guarantee. This was Sean, another one that you were going to take a look at. It's been a month traveling. I've fallen behind on everything. I felt so, on top of things for a while, but now I don't. Okay, I got this one. Code, yep. So code this quality guarantee. guarantee. Yep. And these are all in the minutes. And this is pretty far along as well. So it'd be great if you could give that a review. Cause I think it's I think code code quality guarantee is pretty close to being. Uh, completed. So if we could just wrap that up, that would be really great. And that would that would kind of help like code quality guarantee is right here, community welcomingness, community service and support. This would help kind of move three of those into into purple. Deployed. Yep. yep we'll exactly. Purple. I'll purple stuff up. Purple is good. We want to get purple. So it would it would help in that regard, just kind of push those over over the finish line. So if I push these over the finish line, should I throw them on the next meeting agenda or should I wait for another gathering of this collective? Um, which meeting agenda? Like just this meeting agenda? The weekly, the chaos weekly. Um, actually, the first one... from across the finish line, can you post something just in Slack? Would... Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah I'll, let's post, just I'll post it in Slack. Okay. I put yeah. it down for Thursday. Tomorrow's toast, but I think it's Thursday. Yeah, that'd be cool. Cause then we can talk about them in two weeks. Cause I, I'll, when I get to the website stuff, I'm, we're kind of waiting on the website redesign before we really start releasing these metrics models anyway. Like I don't want to try to release them under the current website structure and then have to redo them. Cause this is all happening really, really close to one another no. timing wise. So yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, Sean. Um, development responsiveness is another one. Uh, that is really coming along quite well. Um, when I look here, we have nobody assigned to it, but as far as I can tell, um, this is at least in a definitional form, like a definition, is definitional a word? <laughs> a, def a definition form. I, who, who help us to create this documentation? We don't know. <laughs> you probably uh i have no idea yeah I, we can uh, track the history in the document and get to know oh yeah um 
Hold on, stuff's in my way. Where do I click on? If you click on last oh, edit was. Yeah, there we go. Emma? Emma? Emma. Emma. Okay. From Emma. The mystery has been solved. <laughs> Didn't didn't this this used to be called just responsiveness? Do you remember? And then we we started locating it just on the responsiveness around the development activity. So it was like community responsiveness for a while, and we we're like, that is <laughs> really that's a probably a big piece of the pie to take a look at. And so then we, if I recall, had actually spent time or I did, I'm not sure who did, um, somebody did, taking time to really hone this in on developer responsiveness. So, so, so thoughts, we seem like we have a mystery on our hands. What do we want to do with this? I mean, it seems like to me it's a relevant thing. Okay. Maybe I can take some time to go through the whole whole documentations. That'd be, that'd think, be great. I think the content is pretty much here. It's ready. Should probably put yeah, Emma. Emma, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should you, you should put Emma first here. <laughs> yeah. okay. I did a ton. I did that. I, I assumed it was from you, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Put myself in there too. I'm pretty sure I worked on this. And please add yourself um, to this as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So um, I'll add that. Um, Thank you, Yahui. Take a look at that. And honestly, that's going to be pretty nice because if we can get, you can kind of see the yellows here. I'm just trying to track what we what we have. We're, we're starting to get to have a nice collection of metrics models, which I think when the website comes out will be kind of a nice offering. Um, and I also think for for the work that you're doing, Yahui, too, this will kind of give a nice, like kind of a, a, a robust set of metrics that I think are all deployable. Uh, through it of the system like compass you know what I mean yep yep so okay cool um and then community safety this was one that we talked about earlier with uh June so June was going to make those comments that you had posted kind of fix those comments that you had posted uh you okay so um in the in the last bit of time here I just wanted to show you kind of what's happening with the web page this is back to your comment earlier Elizabeth with respect to um the context tags and keyword tags so again what we're doing is the for the new website design we're going to be providing a kind of an easier way to search um, for the chaos metrics and the metrics models so this is a, a preliminary look at at the new site design so it's a series of Cool. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a really nice improvement. I mean, the work that um, everybody in the website group has been doing is just absolutely phenomenal from design to, to structure to, to thinking about how we present material. So the first one is for new contributors. Um, so if you're interested in, in joining the project, this is meant to be a path um, to kind of join there. If you have comments, please feel, feel free to add them. Um, this is this this one is meant to be for uh, commu existing community members that need access to resources to kind of run things as a community. And this is uh, access to the metrics models, metrics and pieces of software. So when you click on this, um, this is what's going to be the knowledge base. So you'll notice that we, we have these topic areas. And that's what these context, uh, that's what these context tags are. All right, so the idea here is that 
for example, development responsiveness would be tagged as a community and a software issue. And if you want to take a look at these context tags in more detail, here's kind of a description of them. All right. Mm -hmm. And so when you come to the knowledge base, you could click on community, for example, and you would you would see anything that's tagged with the community context tag. And if in this case, if you clicked on software, you would also see this metric model. So either you could either just kind of work your way through it in that form just by clicking on a topic area. So I'm interested in things related to community. It'll show you all the metrics as well as all the metrics models that carry that community tag. Does that make sense? Yep. For folks, Elizabeth, is this getting to where? Yes, I wasn't sure how we would link the metrics that are in the models to the model page, if that's even a thing we want to do, or like how that works. Are we, uh, are, are we do that doing that like point. in the document? I don't think we're going to do that. Like, so okay. I mean, we would, there's the potential obviously to see the metric model itself, and that'll have links to the metrics. Okay. But I don't think we're we, going to use them as keyword tags also. I don't think so. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, one question: How to yeah. how to add this text into the metrics model? Do we have yeah. a keywords on that? Yeah. So basically, we're going to have to just add at the top just a uh -huh. just the keyword a keyword and context area tag. So, so the, the the keyword tag can be more open. So we could just put the enabled metrics in the model for the metric there. Executed. We don't need to, but. The context tags are the ones that are organized on the website that need to be more personally engaged. So Yahoo, it'll be something similar to this. I mean, we'll just simply add this and Kevin okay. can add up. I'll get the proper format for us before we add them. But once we adding them shouldn't be too difficult. That's just a really simple PR. I think we can just kind of work through it here in columns H and I. For the time being and then we can just give any any one of us just the action item to add these tags to the metrics models that would just take about 15 minutes and so the the keyword i'm sorry the context tags do come from this predefined list the keyword tags kind of to your point elizabeth they can be anything so they're up to us and so I definitely, my thought was we probably want to include model as a keyword tag in case somebody is coming here and they want to search for, you know, models, something like that. You know what I mean? That yeah. we kind of help, we can just show like, if I just want to see all the models, I can just search on them and they will all come up on that keyword search. But I also think too, Elizabeth, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, this search will also search the text of I don't think it does. I think it only searches the titles and the tags, and that's why the tags have to exist. Gotcha. The titles. That's, that's, yeah, okay. that's, that's, that is correct. It's okay. a technical limitation. I'm, I'm curious, from, yeah. from y'all's memories, in every metric model, did we include a case study for pretty much every role, or would we also want to include roles as a keyword tag. So for instance, if I'm a community manager, I can just go here and type community manager and it will give me all the things that would pertain to me. Is that we, something we, we could, can do? Yes, we could do it right here in keyword tags. So, I mean, we can, so, yeah. So, I mean, the context tags we're trying to keep to, to two to three. Kevin wants to keep that a little bounded for a reason. Um, and so then like we could do, I'm totally not, I don't know if this is the right, metric model but community manager you know newcomer so uh if if we are thinking from this angle then uh i think all in all the models we have a user stories and if we have a user story for a newcomer or for a community manager that means that needs to be tagged out in the that's tagging fine. section no problem that's yeah. not a problem at all yep okay yep okay. i mean that's, a, that's what this conversation is about these these are not set in stone at all. This is just, this okay. was just me kind of trying to locate you. 
So okay. let's see what these are in relation to this. Okay, I like that. Okay, so the proposal is um, the context tags, we will pick one or two as, or two to three, sorry, as requested from Kevin. But the keyword tags, we will, I, I really like the idea of including model for each one of them. But then in addition, we would take a look at wherever we are here, like the user stories. So this would be like community manager, OSPO, <laughs> uh, user, you know what I mean? Those could be our keyword tags in, the, in this case. I would suspect that maps pretty well based on the user stories. I see nods, so I'm I'm guessing that that's okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, context tags are from the list as um, requested. The keyword tags will be drawn from the user stories. So uh, just a thought, maybe uh, it might expand the keyword tagging option. I'm not sure, just this thought came in my mind while I was thinking on this. So if we are using different metrics and a user come and look for a particular metric, say bursty nets, and a bursteriness metric has been used in two or three models. So if you search for the net metric, those two or three models should also come that was, in the search. Kind of Elizabeth's point as well. So I, I put some stuff in chat. I agree with that. Okay. Our keyword list will get pretty long because we would yes. have, like I think that's okay. In this scenario, right, I mean, it might be we'd have one, two, three, four drawn from user stories. And, and then, then four, few metrics. Four drawn from the metrics. Yes. Do you know if the keywords have to be one word? Can it be a phrase with like a space in there? Do you know that, Matt? I thought it searched the whole text, so I... <laughs> <laughs> That might be something we want to clarify with Kevin too to make sure we can add a phrase. Yeah. As a I think Kevin it ta ta tags yeah. the search is kind of difficult to to be done. Yeah. It it has to be supported by some search engine, so the short 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 words should be more convenient to be implemented and to be easily found. So we may have to get creative. Yeah, you're always right about that. Okay. Yeah. What I would say though is, um, the, I mean, the keywords are definitely a place that would be better, um, and the full text search is is an ex, is a constraint. Kevin and I have discussed, and it really arises from how much computing power do we want to have behind our website. Okay. So maybe to that point, like you know, from the user stories, it would be you know, company contributor manager, OSPO. You know, like those would just be the terms that we kind of pull from there. And then if we do want to include metrics, it might be things like um, review, um, duration, yeah. yeah, change or change or issue, <laughs> like just like really. I, I think two word or max three word will be fine. If we go more than that, we'll create an issue. Yeah, I think maybe, Vinod, can you ask Kevin if we can... Yeah. Do um, multi-word keywords. So, for example, could we do issue response time as okay. a keyword? Okay. Yep. Because if the answer is no, then that'll that'll, <laughs> that'll solve a lot of <laughs> a lot of the issue. <laughs> I come up to another uh, question that how many how many keywords are we allowed to, to add for each single matrix model? Apparently it's unlimited, but Vinod, can you add that to your list of questions for Kevin? How many keywords? Yes. I would say we, if, if I want my, my matrix model could be accurate, accurate 
uh, searchable. So I would like to add more. I'll more just add a, a <laughs> hundred and fifty keywords. <laughs> yeah. I was I was typing that in the Slack for Kevin. Okay. Right now. Uh, I think we just want to make sure we don't give Kevin heart for an hour. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let's let him get the website launched before we traumatize him again. We've solved the problem. Here's all, here's our solution for you. <laughs> right. All right. Well, Vinod, can you um can you just post the response in the metrics model working group so we kind of know? Yes. Yes, I'll do. Thank you very much. That would be great. Oh, Sean's gone. Goodbye, Sean. <laughs> okay. He has a date. Yeah, it's just like that. <laughs> His schedule is so tight that he just his sentences just like he ends one sentence and goes right into his next meeting. So, all right, um, okay. Does that does that help people at least, Elizabeth? Does that help a little bit with the website? Yes, one hundred percent. Thank okay, you. Okay, great. Yeah. And I'm also talking to to Kevin. I'm kind of trying to change some of these terms just to be a little bit softer. Like um, I'm I'm a little sometimes I'm a little concerned that maybe people don't know what a knowledge base is, you know. So just like if you're a new contributor, anyway, that's kind of a different. I think that's fair. Yeah. Um, but I agree. Overall, this is just amazing. The work that they have done is, <laughs> it's really incredible. All right. Okay. Um, does anybody else have any questions on that? Um, and so this is why I also think that we're just kind of, I'm dragging my feet just a little bit for releasing metrics models, because I think it's easier for us just to plug into this knowledge base approach than it is to try to plug into the older website design and then rework things and plug into the knowledge base approach. So I, that's my, that's my take. All right. Um, looks like we have one last comment. There is a Chinese holiday on October 1st through the 7th. Is that our yeah. next meeting, Yuhui? Uh, I think uh, I think next meeting, uh, you well, mean the Asia Pacific? That would be the Asia Pacific uh, meeting. Yeah, okay. it, it, it would be missed. Okay. Uh, what's the holiday? Also, just that way people know that, you know, Yuhui in, in June and and the crew will be out. So, okay. yeah, it's a it's a national holiday. For what? What's it a holiday of? Well, what? How to complete? Do you do how to come? Uh, do how to how to translate it? Mm. China Day. China Day, right? China. We, we call, <laughs> I like China Day. <laughs> we, we call it a national national day. Okay. So everyone from China would they, would they take uh, seven seven days vacation. Okay. Do you do you do anything for National Day? Do you travel? Do you spend it with family? Do you? Uh, sure, please. Sure, I will come come back to my home. Okay. Hometown and see. So just to travel will be fun. Okay. You know, like some some holidays in the U.S., everybody just kind of stays put. Sometimes you just kind of stay where you are and other holidays in the US, it seems like everybody <laughs> goes every direction. Um, so like the 4th of July is a very national holiday and everybody just kind of stays in their local area. Um, but things like Christmas and Thanksgiving, right, it's, it's, it's mayhem in the US. <laughs> yeah, you know, three years ago uh, during this this kind of holiday, Everyone will, uh, would go all outside, uh, traveling inside China or outside of China, and uh, you know, you you there is one word to to describe the uh, the that scenario that uh, uh, people mountain people say. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, you know, to describe there are so many people, just like mountain and the sea. Just so many people. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Uh, well, okay. Well, then enjoy National Day. It sounds like it's National Week, um, yeah. but <laughs> that that sounds quite wonderful. So enjoy yourself, uh, Yuhui, sure. in June. Enjoy some time off. Okay. I hope. And we'll keep working on this. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, everybody. I think we're done. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.